Um, yeah, I mean, obviously looking at the scoreboard, 0-0, zero, zero, fourth tie, I mean, that's not something that we want or plan for. Um, but I think the positive part and the exciting part is you can see the growth. I mean, San Diego is a very good team. That's that's a team that made it very far in the playoffs, and I thought we did very well, especially the second half. I, I thought we dominated the game in the second half. Um, honestly, I thought we had more chances. Um, that sort of thing. I think it's just going to take one of those games to win and let the goals fall and finish out a game, and then I think from there on is we're just going to be um, we're going to be flying. So I think it's just getting that first win. Obviously. We don't want to tie, um, but you can see the growth, and that's the important part. And I'm super proud of the girls. I thought uh, they worked super hard. Like I said, San Diego, San Diego is a very good team, and um, I thought we especially showed out in the the second half. Um, definitely some things to work on, but you see the growth. There was a lot more uh, energy uh, in the second half. What did that say to you guys at halftime? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, in the – um, by week in the past couple of weeks, we really worked on uh, playing a full 90, finishing out games, the habits of games, how to control the tempo, that sort of thing. And the coaching staff, I think, did a great job at um, kind of settling us down and explaining those things. Um, you know, it, it's not going to happen overnight as much as we want it to. It's not going to be perfect. We know that, as Bev says, that we're going to peak at the right moment. But you can see the steps and you see the consistency. I think throughout this game more than any other game. Um, it's not just one half, two halves. I obviously think the second half was very much better. But um, I think in the bye week, the coaching staff did a good job at uh, bringing us in and kind of showing us a, a young squad still how to settle into the game and then continue to play our style throughout the whole game. And how do you think uh, Flynn is adapting to midfield? I'm sorry? How do you think uh, Taylor is adapting to midfield? I love playing with Taylor. Um, I, I think that she's a phenomenal player, phenomenal person. We're getting closer on and off the pitch. I think our relationship, you can see that it's continuing to grow. And I think this game, it really showed, um, you know, with me, Sav, and her in there, the relationship. I mean, that's a hell of a midfield, if you ask me. So I think that as the season continues, that she's going to keep growing, growing. But you can already see the connection starting to happen. And with Taylor and I, it's, you know, it's the third game. And you can already see the relationship really starting to grow, and um, I love playing with her in there. I think we have very, very similar styles. That goal that was called back that she had, what did you see in the slip? Um, I mean, I'm always going to argue that's a goal, but, um, you know, I'd have to replay. Uh, I have to go back and, and watch it. So, um, I don't know. From my angle, it looked like it. I don't know. Um, but, you know, it is what it is, and I think we had other opportunities we could have finished. But, um, you know, you got to take it, and uh, hopefully next game that will happen. You got – very physical at the end of this end of this game. Have you seen it like this team do that, played that hard in, in late in the second half like this? Uh, yeah, that's why I was I was super proud of us. Um, I I think at times we tend to drop back into our shape and um, you know almost like sit on, on top of our eighteen. And this this happened the, toward the end of the half in the second half. I thought we were attacking, and I think that's kind of the shift in mentality you saw this group have. And I think that's very exciting. That's why I'm super proud of the girls. I think you saw the fight, the will, the want to finish the game out. We weren't on our back foot. We were on our front foot trying to finish the game, and they were almost on their back foot, you know, the last five minutes. So that's how we want to continue to do it. And I think now that we have a taste of it, um, continuing to go forward, then I think it's going to be easier for us to do that. Jay, do you feel like that second half was the most consistent pressure we were all in yeah, I'd say so. Um, I think that we've had that sort of pressure, like you said, like almost in moments during a game, but uh, throughout a half and especially in a stoppage time, I think that was super promising from us. Um, and I think that's something we want to continue to do is not drop back, not have teams attacking us, but into the game, whether we're up or down or tied, we're attacking them. Um, and that's something that we have talked about as a team and what we've worked on and the staff has preached to us is no matter what, we're on our front foot attacking. And I think you saw that at the end. Yeah, already back uh, tonight. Just how, even for just 15 minutes, what kind of exactly. Yeah, I mean, having Ari back is, is so, so big. Um, I think that all our forwards have done, honestly, a great job. And even the rookies, like, being so young, coming in and, and doing their job, I think they've done a great job. But obviously having a world-class player like Ari come back is is – just good energy for the group. You see her come in, hold the ball up, connect the game. Um, so we're just super happy to have her back. Last one for Jayla. This year, attendance has been higher in both home games than in previous games. Is the energy from the crowd, the loudness, the booing when things yeah. don't go your way, does that help 
propel the team yeah. and fight harder. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You guys have no idea when the crowd is behind your back and um, they're into the game and you guys fuel us, honestly, the, the crowd fuels us. And it is so hard going into another stadium and having the momentum shift where the crowd is on the home team side and it's loud and it, it gets uh, the home team going, gets us going and it's really hard to play against. So honestly, with the attendance going up and everybody getting into it, Shout out Jack Carlo. I saw you there. I saw him up there. We all saw. So thank you. We really appreciate that. Um, but no, it's seriously so special to us and it makes such a big difference. All right. Thank you, Jake.